From the News 19 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Efren Afonte with your 11 o'clock update on the Atlantic Tropics. Now, the official information from the National Hurricane Center came down a little bit before 11 o'clock this morning. Florence still is a tropical storm. Winds are at 65 miles an hour, gusting to 75. Not much change. Its forward motion to the west has picked up a little bit now to 8 miles an hour. But notice, it is starting to get its redevelopment. Earlier this morning and overnight last night, half of it was chopped off. But now, as you can see with the radar loop, it is now starting to get a little bit more of its comma uh, uh, shape, which means that a lot of the thunderstorm activity is now starting to wrap around, which the wind shear that was cutting off half of it is now starting to dissipate. So a lot more contour is starting to develop. So it looks at this point that tropical storm Florence is no longer weakening. It isn't strengthening yet, but it is starting to get organized. Now, the wind shear that's been associated with it over the last 24 hours has now shifted off to the southeast because of its forward motion to the west at 8 miles an hour. So it is starting to get organized, and as it does, it'll start to strengthen. Now, the latest track from the National Hurricane Center shows that as we get into the weekend, it'll start strengthening again as a Category 1 hurricane by Monday morning to a Category 2 Potentially, as it gets south of Bermuda, by Tuesday morning, it could be up to a Category 3 hurricane with wind speeds at about 125 miles an hour. And then by Wednesday morning, again, the cone of uncertainty is very wide swath. So its position could either be directly west of Bermuda, southwest of Bermuda, or actually northeast of the, of the Bahamas of the Northern Caribbean islands, potentially as a category four hurricane with wind speeds of 130 miles an hour. Now don't get hung up with the category four number. Between the category three and four estimation, based on its strength, it's only a difference of five miles an hour from 125 miles an hour sustained winds to 130. It just happens to be the criteria for category four gets up to 130 miles. So that's one thing we're gonna be watching. The spaghetti models over five day track still continues that the model guidance is pretty consistent at least through Tuesday morning in which it'll be positioned somewhere to the west, southwest or far southwest of Bermuda. But this five day track, there's still a lot of uncertainty of where Florence will go, let alone how strong it'll be. That cannot be determined until the hurricane hunters start penetrating through the storm to investigate what the dynamics of the tropical cyclone is. That will occur on Monday as tropical as hurricane hunters will be going out Monday morning, Monday afternoon and Monday evening. We may not be able to tell the structure and the dynamics truly from the hurricane hunters until late Monday night. So that's on Florence. Now we've been watching some tropical activity. The latest information from the National Hurricane Center is that there are two tropical waves that have potential of developing within the next 48 hours. Well, we don't have to wait anymore. This is now potential tropical cyclone number eight. This is the one that's just come off the coast of Africa. The wind gusts right now are at about 45 miles an hour. It is moving to the west at 10 miles an hour. It's just coming off the coast. Now, tropical storm warnings are already in effect for the Cape Verde Islands, but it's a very disorganized cluster of thunderstorms at this point. Not a lot of tropical cyclonic organization, but nevertheless, it is already starting to ramp up. The forecasted project, uh, the forecasted trajectory is over the course of the next five days will continue moving to generally the west, northwest, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour, and its position will still be more in the central Atlantic, closer to Africa than it would be to Bermuda. And this will be putting it by Wednesday as a tropical storm with wind speeds of 65 miles an hour. And if this does become a tropical storm, this will then become tropical storm Helene. All the model guidance right now for seven days still continue it in the Atlantic. But again, this is closer to the African coastline. So yes, it is a potential tropical cyclone, but this is weeks away from even getting close to Bermuda, let alone the United States. Now the other tropical wave, Invest 92L, it continues to move through. It's poorly organized right now. Winds at 30, gusting of 40, moving to the west at 12 miles an hour. This is potential tropical cyclone eight. 
This 92L is ahead of it. Now, all indications right now, it will start to strengthen, but as far as its intensity, it's still to be determined. But the seven day tracks take it a little bit closer to not only the greater, the, the lesser Antilles Islands, but more into the central Atlantic. So that's what we're going to be watching. Oh, and by the way, the National Hurricane Center just found a new one. This is Invest Tropical Wave 94L. And look at its current position. Position right now is actually right off the coast of the United States, off of the uh, Southeast Atlantic. Wind speeds right now at 25 miles an hour, very poorly organized, but as a cluster of thunderstorms, its motion is moving to the northwest at 13 miles an hour, positioned about 175 to 200 miles to the west, southwest of Bermuda. It's very early stage right now, but the five day track can put it really anywhere. It is a development of a tropical wave. That's all it is. A cluster of thunderstorms. No idea where this guy is going to go, but keep in mind that this is something we'll be watching. So overall, not only are we dealing with the remnants of Tropical Depression Gordon, but now watching the newest one, Invest 94L, which is off the southeast coast, closer to Bermuda. We've got Tropical Storm Florence, which is well southeast of Bermuda. We have Invis 92L and now potential Tropical Cyclone 8. So very active weather for the Atlantic. And of course, we'll be updating this as information comes along from the National Hurricane Center and from here at WLTX News 19.